The movie begins in a classroom, where a detective arrives to talk about the disappearance of a high school student named Melissa Brown. He then asks the students to come forward if they have any information about the missing student. After the class, a girl named Eden approaches her classmate, Barrett Schroeder, who is with his best friends, Gooch and Kendra. Barrett's father, Congressman Schroeder, has considerable power in state issues, including education matters. It turns out that Eden has been shortlisted for her dream school, Penbrook. Therefore, she asks Barrett if his father can write a letter of recommendation for her as well. However, Barrett claims that many kids are pleading with him to do so, and that she's irrelevant to him. Now, Eden asks him whether he's still throwing the party at his house tonight. Barrett confirms it and informs her that the party has a heaven and hell theme. Later, Eden approaches her best friend Zara and convinces her to attend Barrett's party that evening. Zara isn't thrilled with the idea, but Eden claims that she might reach the congressman through Barrett and make her case. It turns out that Zara has already received a scholarship to Penbrook, and Eden is desperate to be with her. She claims that no one in her family has ever attended college, so she wants to put herself in the best possible situation. Therefore, after much persuasion, Zara finally agrees to go with her to the party, which excites Eden. That evening, Eden's father, Joel, drives the two girls to Barrett's house for the party. Joel turns out to be an average guy who works in the septic tank cleaning business and has a limp in his leg. As the girls get out of the car, he hands them his business card to advocate for them among wealthy people. As the girls reach the party, Kendra insists that they place their phones in a lockbox to avoid social media posts, given the congressman's high-profile position. Moments after, Eden notices Barrett with Gooch and requests that Zara distract him. Therefore, Zara flirts with Gooch a little and asks him to prepare a drink for her. Gooch is both nervous and excited because this is the first time a girl has been nice to him. He then proceeds to make her a special cocktail, which is very strong. Sometime later, Melissa's sister shows up at the party, thinking that one of the guests knows where her sister is. She then starts bothering all those people there, so Eden agrees to drive her home to impress Barrett, and he hands her his keys. Later, after Eden returns, Barrett takes her on a tour of his home, explaining his family's history. Now, there's an axe in the hall that was a gift from an Indian chief to his great-great-grandfather. There's also a gun from World War II that his grandfather took from a German captain. Following this, Eden takes her chance to explain that she's worked hard her entire life and how she requires a letter of reference in order to get admitted to college, which she can't afford otherwise. However, Barrett, who's a spoiled brat, doesn't seem to care and claims he's still not sure. Meanwhile, Zara gets so intoxicated that she can't bear it and starts shouting terrible things. Eden's almost finished with Barrett, so she decides to put Zara in a bedroom to sleep it off. Then we see Gooch has a substance abuse problem and is going through the bathroom medicine cabinet. Later, he notices Zara asleep on the bed and goes over to sleep with her. He then takes photos of the unconscious Zara so he can post about her being his girlfriend. Downstairs, Eden and Barrett are playing ping pong games together. She then makes a deal with Barrett to introduce her to his father if she wins the game. By this time, Barrett is somehow impressed with her, so he agrees, and Eden eventually wins the game. Eden then goes upstairs to take Zara so they can now leave. However, she becomes alarmed when she notices Gooch lying next to Zara. She scolds Gooch and kicks him out of the room before locking the door. Gooch also becomes anxious, and in his haste, he leaves his phone behind. The unlocked, non-password protected phone is still open to Zara's images and Eden picks it up to look through them. As she continues to swipe, she is horrified to see Melissa's picture on the phone. The greater shock for her is a video that was filmed on the same day she went missing. It shows Barrett, Gooch, and Kendra mocking Melissa, who appears to be uncomfortable. The gang forces her to drink, and she screams and begs them to take her home. But before Eden can watch what happens next, the phone battery dies, and she desperately searches for a charger. Meanwhile, the horrified Gooch runs down and informs Barrett and Kendra of the situation. Soon after, Barrett knocks on Eden's bedroom door and wants to enter, but she refuses. She eventually admits she's watched the video and demands a charger to complete the video until the end. Barrett tries to be clever by claiming Melissa was with them after school and they dropped her off at her house, but Eden doesn't believe him. She threatens to scream if Barrett doesn't hand over the phone charger. Following this, Barrett and his friends kick all the guests from the house while the music blasts. Eden screams out the window, but no one hears her. She then walks down the corridor and finds a charger, but Gooch grabs her, so she kicks him and pulls the charger in. Meanwhile, Barrett rushes in to take the charger from her grasp, but the tug-of-war breaks the charger cable, making it useless. Barrett then warns Kendra and Gooch that if they don't get the phone back, they'll all go to jail and their lives will be over. With this realization, the three resort to desperate measures to get inside. Now, Kendra tries to break the door while Gooch takes the ladder to climb through the bathroom window. Inside, Eden moves a large cabinet to block the door. 
Meanwhile, Zara wakes up and goes to the bathroom since she isn't feeling good. Just then, Gooch knocks on the window, signaling Zara to open it. Zara, who's unaware of what's going on, opens the window and lets Gooch in. He then begs Eden to return his phone, and when he reaches for it, Eden kicks him and knocks him out. Elsewhere, Joel notices all the partygoers in the town and hears that the host has kicked everyone out. Since Eden hasn't returned at that point, he becomes concerned and heads to check the house. Meanwhile, Barrett grabs an axe and begins chopping his way through the front door. Therefore, Eden, along with Zara and Gooch, locks herself in the bathroom. She then tells the entire story to Zara. Now, Zara claims that the video proves nothing and that they must leave, but Eden is certain that these people are the culprits in Melissa's disappearance. After this, Eden threatens Gooch with electrocution using a hairdryer unless he tells her where Melissa is. Hearing this, Barrett backs off and turns off the house's electricity. It's entirely dark, so the girls decide to go down the ladder from which Gooch climbed. But to Eden's surprise, Kendra is waiting outside with a knife. Now, Eden pushes her, and Kendra falls down, accidentally stabbing herself. Then, Eden climbs down and asks Kendra for a phone so she may call an ambulance for her. But before she can make a phone call, Barrett arrives to attack her, so she climbs back up and, in the process, ends up dropping the phone. Following this, Barrett brings Kendra inside, and she begs him to take her to the hospital. But he says he can't leave until they retrieve the phone. Barrett simply leaves her to bleed out while she pleads that she doesn't want to die. Meanwhile, Zara and Eden argue about handing over the phone, since Zara knows Barrett will never let them leave the house with it. Eden, on the other hand, disagrees and insists that they must give the phone to the cops. Just then, Joel enters the house looking for his daughter, shouting her name. But seconds later, Barrett attacks him and begins blackmailing Eden to come out. Zara, having no other choice, hands Barrett the phone, who's finally relieved. Just then, Barrett's parents arrive at the house and they're clearly shocked by what they witness. Barrett's father informs them that he has a lot of explaining to do, and his mother Astrid suggests they all go to his office and discuss the problem calmly. Now Barrett goes over to Kendra to check on her, but it's too late for she's already dead. Later, as they all sit together, Eden reveals that Gooch has a video of them attacking the missing girl, Melissa, on his phone. Meanwhile, Astrid arrives with drinks and serves everyone. The congressman then proposes an arrangement to save both his political career and his son's life. He offers scholarships to the girls and a number of government contracts to Joel so he'll never have to worry about money again. With this, Joel can finally have the operation for his limp. Zara is willing to take the deal, but Eden insists on seeing the entire video before making a decision. After this, Joel, Eden and Zara see the video of Barrett speeding up his car and running over Melissa as she tries to get away. Kendra and Gooch beg him to stop. But when Melissa gets killed, they help Barrett in disposing of her body by throwing it in the river. The three are stunned as they watch the video, and Eden declares that she's handing over the phone to authorities. As they proceed down the stairs, the three start stumbling around and eventually collapse. It turns out that Astrid had drugged their drinks earlier. Now, as the family watches them fall, Astrid informs Eden that she should have taken the deal to Penbrook. In the next scene, Eden, Zara, and Joel are brought to the Riverbank Bridge, along with Kendra's body in the trunk. In the car, Barrett tells Eden how his mother used to give him the same drug she drank, which paralyzed him when he wouldn't sleep at night. Astrid is especially upset with Gooch for filming the murder and putting them in this situation. So, she makes Barrett stab Gooch in the neck and throws him in the car with the others. Meanwhile, the congressman puts whiskey down Joel's neck to make it appear as if he was driving drunk. After that, all three push the car into the river to make it look like an accident. Soon after, the morning arrives and Eden awakes to find herself in the water and drowning. She manages to save Zara, but fails to save her father. The two then escape, and while Eden decides to take revenge on the Schroeders, Zara heads in the opposite way to alert the police. In the following scene, the congressman is shocked to see in the news that only three bodies were discovered in the sinking car. Even though the cops initially thought it was an accident caused by drinking, the stab wounds on Kendra and Gooch suggest foul play in their deaths. While he's watching the news, Eden appears behind the congressman with an axe of Barrett's great-great-grandfather and brutally murders him. Following that, she goes to confront Astrid, who's picking up a broken mirror in the bathroom when she notices Eden approaching. But before Eden can attack her, Astrid stabs her with the glass and the two of them get into an intense fight. Eden eventually tosses her into the bathtub and electrocutes her with the hairdryer. Soon after, Barrett returns home to find both his parents dead. He grabs his grandfather's gun and goes for Eden, who's sitting in Barrett's car trying to run him over. Since he still has some life left in him, Eden takes the gun from his hands. However, in the end, she decides not to kill him, believing that he should be in prison for his crimes and that he cannot get back up to attack her. Baird, on the other hand, doesn't give up and stands on his feet to kill her. As he advances towards her, 
Zara comes in from behind and mortally wounds him with the gun. As the movie ends, we see the cops arriving at the scene as Barrett bleeds out and eventually loses his life in a gruesome manner.